Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And I feel like Tim is giving me a little bit of a weekend break uh, as he is not putting out as many videos. And I don't know if that's just sheer luck for me because I feel like the day that he stuck out all of those videos on his Walmart content um, and that particular day when he went to Kingman, I was like, gosh, he's just spitting out two minute videos left, right and center over here. Um, but it seems like he's obviously out having a pretty good time with Mr. J over here. Um, let me just bring myself real small to so take a quick peek, see, um, at his main channel page. Um, his views are kind of, he's obviously kind of counting that he doesn't need as many views. I'm not sure. Or maybe he's just having a good time. He's not worried about it. So for example, this particular day, he put out, you know, four videos and he had, you know, close to 17, 18,000 views between this. So he had quite a few, whereas yesterday he's hit only 10,000. And today he's barely, he got 4.3 on his morning chat, which is what he usually gets. Look, that's funny, isn't it? That that's what's really coming in on his like morning chat, 4.3, 4.3. That's interesting to see. I wonder if there's more morning chats, 4.7. So he's losing a little bit on the morning chat. So that's interesting to see. Um, and then not many people are obviously, you know, I think when he did content about social security and some of his other travel things, he was able to get more of an audience of both male and female or however you identify. And uh, he uh, is seemingly, you know, more concerned with his activities um, than, you know, and showing Tim's life. And it may not appeal to everybody. May not. I don't think living a minimalist living is what you do anymore, though, Tim. All right, let's get to this video um, with his friend Jay. Uh, they're off to the pawn shop, human being cafe, and blasting targets on BLM land, Bullhead City Social Security. You're not talking about Social Security in this video, Tim. So why are you tagging it Social Security? Interesting. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to make this one quick, obviously. Let me... Hey, how's it going, everybody? Stop, Tim. I'm not ready. Not ready for you. Hold on. Hold on. No. on. Got to make sure you might be going a little bit faster. We're going to try to make this one quick, but I can't say... I'm going to complain that Tim hasn't been spitting out a ton of content because <laughs> I've live streamed once today. I did a very long video because that mo his morning chats always are telling of his character sometimes. And uh, now he's going to be t even more telling. Jay looks like a nice chap, though. We've got nothing against Jay here. Jay seems like he's a nice chap. Bye, Sarah. So Tim. And John J slash John J, mm -hmm. tell him. John J. Is <laughs> what's your Either name? Way. Either, Either way. way. Either so, way. I, I, anything. See when he. Why don't you just call him JJ? Why don't you just call him Fred? <laughs> now he has to. You know, I'm glad they're trying to make a joke of it. You know, but this is saving Tim's face more than Jay's face. Okay, because you're a nice guy, Jay. You're a nice guy, and I'm glad you're having fun with Tim. Because I'm Tim is probably one of those guys. Until he wears out his welcome, he's probably fun to be around. But when you start to realize that he's potentially not, you know, this outstanding, charismatic person in reality, like maybe they're charismatic, but when it comes to actually maintaining a friendship where there's not, where there's give and take, he may not be as able to do so. And it comes from a place where I think sometimes where if you are having more challenges in life, it can make it more difficult for you to feel generous because you're so concerned about what's going on with you and what's happening with you. How can I think and reflect about others? But you talk about that you're in the best place of your, in your life at the moment. You've never done so well. So I would think that would make you more considerate to others around you. Like Jay. 
he gave me his number. His caller ID came up, John, so I logged him in. But he's got Jay on his front tag of his uh, Class B. And then it just kind of hit me, and I was talking to Miss T. I said, oh, my gosh. I made this video. I've been calling the guy John all day. He never said anything, but his friends uh, call him Jay. Yeah, yeah. He got the I mean, I don't understand. You spent the whole night with him supposedly chatting the night before, before you guys went out and played golf. Or, sorry, you played golf and Jay videoed you. <laughs> oh, Tim. Tim. I think what you're discovering, if you really did, and this is just a side, because the last video he seemed very scared of death, okay? Very petrified about death dying just really was going on about that and he is 65 but his eyes look to me like they're aging faster than some 65 year olds because he hasn't probably had good optical care so i i do wonder uh if his glaucoma and his potential for becoming blind, because I know how that affected my life, is affecting his um, sort of attitude at this time, too. It's hard to say. All right. A nickname, because he didn't like to wear clothes when he was a little boy. And some called him uh, Naked as a Jaybird. But we just got the best breakfast <laughs> sandwiches we ever ate in our life. It was uh, The lady was so nice at McDonald's, I used my app. It was buy one, get one for a dollar. And that came out to six something. And then we get to the window. And just think, man, blessings, blessings. She says, yeah, I'm going to take that promotion off. It's right now we got a special two for five. I'm like, great. So I said, well, hook up the people behind me then. <laughs> and they didn't have a mobile order, so we took care of them too. Now, John and I are going, or Jay, I'm sorry, I got to start calling him Jay. That's what his friends are. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you if you just took a moment to breathe, well, obviously I have you spelled up at 1.25, then maybe you could remember that his name is Jay, but you probably have it now kind of set in your mind, John. So you're always probably going to trip up on it. Unfortunately, it's just kind of one of those things. Um, once you get it in your head, it can be hard to shake sometimes, but Tim out here, ah, oh, with the McDonald's, that's where he feels very generous. He can give away the house at McDonald's. I guess he got uh, Jay a breakfast sandwich this morning. Cause he was on the two, Two for five deal. <laughs> of course, he's paying it forward. I guess maybe this time he did actually pay it forward since he has a, a witness. I guess that's the receipt we so wanted. Who knows? But <laughs> he said he didn't use his app or something. Or I, what did he say about what he did with the people in their app? Hold on. So we took care of them too. Now, John and I are going, oh, hold on. Jay, and they didn't have a mobile order, so we took care of them too. Now, John and I are going, or Jay, I'm sorry, I got to start calling him Jay. That's okay. where his friends are. Okay. We're gonna so, I guess what he means is since they hadn't pre ordered, which, you know, generally you would step inside. I mean, sometimes I guess people do get their pre orders through the drive through. Um, just. <laughs> So I guess since they hadn't pre-bought it, you were able to help them out. Oh, Tim, that must have killed you if you spent more than $10 already this morning. I mean, I know that's hurting your pocket. <laughs> I'm glad you got Jay breakfast. Did you get him dinner? Because he needed dinner for all that work last night. You're a good man, Jay. We're going to go shoot our GUNs. But first, we're going to stop to uh, mm. Human Bean. Human beings. And we're going to get the best cup of coffee we've ever had in our life. Get all, hopped up. We get all hopped up with the juju bees on, on top. That's what I call the little uh, espresso beans. He actually wants to try them from there. And we're going to bring back the Mrs. <laughs> uh, Miss Bev one a little bit later. But um, it's hot, but it's only going to be like 106 today, not 111. Uh, I think that um, we fixed the uh, odor issue uh, thanks to him knowing about fixing houses and electrical and a lot of other stuff that I don't know anything about. We poured some stuff down my sink. I think we got that fixed up. And I'm uh, just having a good time. So, Jay, I thought you were supposed to be, I'm an RV minimalist. Oh, God, you're going to kill the RV community. I am not an RVer. <laughs> I know nothing about it. I know that, it, uh, that you have to have protocols for caring and being able to habitate these types of places. I'm a homeowner. I know about trying to run a house or a little condo, I should say. But... Uh, not familiar with the RV, but Jay had to help you out. 
Oh, Tim. And you 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 confess that you know have no idea how to do this stuff. So what did you do your whole adult male life? Tim, you don't, I've put my own floorboards in. Okay? The hundreds of square feet of it. <laughs> to my entire living room, the kitchen, closet, bedroom, you name it. By myself. <laughs> So I can't believe this. I, you know, this is why you probably shouldn't own a home. Because you need to be able to fix things. Not wait till Jay comes along. <laughs> Promise you. I mean, I've had friends help me with stuff too. But this, I tell you, I put these floorboards in myself. Bamboo floorboards. Took me two weeks. Exhausted. Thank God for those carpentry classes I took as a kid. Those woodwork classes. <laughs> Not carpentry, but woodwork. I'm telling you. Tim, you just, you were trying to tell people to get a, a side hustle with their skills the other day. I guess it wasn't just shilling crackers. Good. So uh, we'll get you some uh, video, probably not of the GUNs because, you know, Google doesn't like that. But I'm glad to read the comments that some of you, you know, have no problem with that and you have your own. Uh, we're just going to go out and have a good time. We got three or four of them. We got first stop and buy some more ammo and we got some targets. Jay says he's going to hold them. You're first. You <laughs> I gotta go first. Okay. I don't mind anything with target practice. I can't. I can't say I'm a fan of people just shooting animals. You know, I'm a little bit of an animal lover. I'm not into the hunting necessarily. But target practice, range practice, I would. I would. I enjoy it. <laughs> I would enjoy that. I don't necessarily want to hold people with the gun, but target practice, yeah, absolute fun. So anyway, we're gonna go crush it. All right, folks. We got our human bean coffee. You remember, don't ever let yeah, those beans sit on there too long. They'll melt. Uh, Jay got his. And uh, they only gave, oh, sorry. They only gave two. I said, hey, I'm doing reviews on you guys with YouTube. The other girl gives me three. So she gave me three. Mm. I gave the extra one to Jay there. Because he wanted to try them out. Mm. What do you think? They're mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, good. How good is it? They're good. Uh, this is Jay's moment, hey. He's getting to hang out with Sarasota Tim and have the best cup of coffee ever from the human bean and get his little bean thing. You know, Jay's probably having a good time. I'm sure Tim is providing lots of laugh because he's very charismatic. I still don't like how Tim treated him the other day. So I want to see that you're treating this man a little bit nicer, Tim. Because it was really rough. And I guess people were telling you in the comment sections too that you weren't treating this gentleman very nicely. Shame on you, Tim. It, it almost melt up here. This coffee's so hot. <laughs> no, no, is this good coffee? It's, it's probably the best coffee i ever had in my life. Oh, <laughs> Jay. You're cute. I think you're right. It could be. I mean, it really is. This is the best cup of coffee you ever drink in your life. Human being. Thanks for watching, everybody. Crush it. All right, everybody. Even you're not at the end of your video. That's your tag tagline for the end. Crush it. That's your ta ending tagline. <laughs> <laughs> One of your many phrases along with the jackrabbits. Um, <laughs> Jay's a nice man. I can tell. And he's obviously having fun. I mean, he's, you know, watched Tim and Tim's got him on the channel and Jay's been okay with that. And we, we have no hate towards Jay whatsoever. So there's no, I, I, you know, if people want to watch Tim, that's fine. Just don't be you know, ugly about other reaction channels. Before we go ahead in that clip, we're not crushing it just yet. We're heading to the uh, GUN range out in open land and BLM land. But look at this. There's the Colorado River. BLM and, land. And uh, I'll be leaving out of here in the next 24, 48 hours at the latest, saying bye-bye to uh, Bullhead City and Laughlin hmm. and on to the next uh, phase in my travels and my journey. Do we know and where? I do invite everybody to come along and uh, join me. I know you will. All 98,000. Are we off to Cedar City or Senior City, as you like to call it? Oh, my goodness. Because we know he's not moving to Kingman. <laughs> no room at the end. 615 beautiful souls out there. Just keep watching and uh, keep hitting the thumbs up for me. Share the videos. Check your subscription, please. Uh, we, we're trying to get to that 100,000 uh, to get that magic plaque. Uh, Wells Fargo told me as soon as you get it, come on in. We'll give you a big congratulations. <laughs>
That's Wells all I'm going to get out of it. But it is a very prestigious award. So Wells Fargo. Is he? Is he trying to use? Is he trying to say? He, does he need to have a certain number of subscribers for Wells Fargo to give him a mortgage? Why would Wells Fargo be interested in your YouTube plaque? I'm sure if I told my lender that I have 3,000 subs on YouTube, they would be asking me why I was telling them that information. <laughs> but I appreciate all my subscribers who have recently joined my channel and my all my new members today. You know I appreciate it. I'm just laughing because I don't... <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> just this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't secure a loan on a YouTube plaque. There are plenty of creators that I uh, look at and make commentary on who I tend to think have, you know, problematic cults of personality and could be misusing their platforms um, to manipulate vulnerable people on occasion, and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I lost my train there. Sorry guys. I'm just I'm just wheeling at Tim as always. Oh yeah, I was saying about the plaque. Sorry. I I returned back to my point. She has a 100k plaque. I promise you it's not helping her situation any better. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscription button. Hit it twice. Tell a friend. Crush it. All right, everybody. So we just left uh Mr. Pawn and that is a place that Jay came yesterday and he uh, traded in a certain thing they bought and charged him a different for something else he got. And we were just talking to him in there. He gave me my, gave me his card. They have a YouTube channel and I gave him my card for my YouTube channel. We were explaining to him that the place down the road here that does the same kind of business as they do, they were friendly and all, but they didn't offer the deal to Mr. Jay that they did. So we said, we came back because of your good customer service. And he really appreciated it. I said, yeah, man, it's all about customer service. Mm -hmm. So we hooked this up. I can show you this part anyway. Uh, you see, see, T Tim was forever the gift to the cab. <laughs> That's what we say in English. He's got the gift to the cab. He's definitely, you know, definitely a wide boy. Hey, and anyone who's from the UK, I know people will tell, well, somebody recently told me in my comment section, I need to do something about my hair and my accent, woman. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, they, um, you know, he's a bit of a wide boy, you know, he's always kind of playing, 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 you know, <laughs> against the grain a little bit. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to describe a wide boy, but if you're from the UK, you would understand. But Tim is giving me those feelings. It's kind of a, you know, street wise, charismatic, you know, always got some game going, you know, something's going on. I'm getting that feeling from Tim. You know, he's always trying to get a deal, finagle something, you know. Anyway. Uh, we got some uh, 380. We got some uh, full metal jacket. Um, what is this? Is this a 357 or the, uh, or the 9? Yeah, we didn't buy a 9. Like okay, here we go. We got some. Uh, what is this? Oh, this? 357. This is the 38. See, a 357 will shoot 38. And then he's got a 380. And then we got several boxes of other 9. So, and where's our targets? So we got some more nine here, and we got these targets right here. Jay's gonna hold them. We got two. You go we got two. Well, you gonna go first, or no? You're going first. There you go. <laughs> well, we brought the staple oh, gun. There it is, Mr. Pond. Right there. Oh, look, there it is, yeah. Mr. Pond. So if you need oh, anything out of yeah. Bullhead City, a Mr. Pond is, is uh, where you want to come. They're very nice in there, and they got all kinds of stuff. So it's not just GUNs. You know, you can get whatever you need in there. Uh, but the guy was really cool. So uh, we're having the best cup of coffee we were drinking our life. We're convinced of it. Um, hot, too hot. Really did you hot. get in trouble? Yeah, yeah I'm like a cold. Lady. Beans are gone. Oh, did you have to cool down your, uh, sorry, not cool down your coffee. Did you have to take down or do anything about the video that you showed with you get wearing your gun GUN holster? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We're getting all hopped up. Too hopped up. Oh, he's got his hat on. This guy's all about it. Yesterday he was a golfer. Today he's a, a, a marksman. Mm. All right, we're getting out of here. We're going to crush Love it. Me. All right, folks, we're getting to BLM Land, Bureau of Land Management. And uh, we just uh, okay. crossed over Bullhead Parkway, and we're going up this road. Uh, the guy at the pawn shop said, 
Uh, you know, you go three point, almost four tenths of a mile. Actually, uh, Jay said he came over here the other day. There's going to be a sign that says, you know, BLM land. Maybe it's the like a police car sitting there. But I did see a camper we just passed back there where they're camping, uh, you know, free on BLM land. Ooh, the car just sitting there. <laughs> but yeah, this is Arizona, baby. And uh, you come out here and do what you want to do. Could be a land surveyor. So we got to get close by now. I mean, I thought initially it was the police. <laughs> if I ever see anybody sit like that, where I'm from in the South, that usually means a police call. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, but of course, Tim, like, why are they sitting there? Gosh, he's always so interested in everyone else's business. <laughs> it's like, he really is like a squirrel. <laughs> like, always like... <laughs> Definitely a squirrel. You're not gonna hit anything. <laughs> and uh, but there's boxes and and some things out here that uh, Jay said uh, that uh, are set up that people can shoot. So we're gonna do it. We won't be videoing that because I want to be able to post this video. <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, they have an issue with uh, it'll let it post, but it won't monetize. And yeah, I don't put anything up that I can't monetize. <laughs> there you do. Oh, here's a sign. Let's see it right here. The other one right there. Let's, re let's read it. Yeah, those short videos. Yet. What does that say? We're not, we're still Leading BLM? It's all shot up. Look, it's all shot up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, a bunch of holes in it. Let me zoom in for you guys a little bit. Let's press the gas. I see the pavement's going to end. Must be getting here. Yeah, this is the pavement end. We've got another mile after this pavement. Oh, we do? Right here, about a mile more, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, you guys get the idea. We're out here in the Glad middle of nowhere. Driving, this is the, uh, Dusty area. What's this guy doing out here? See, Tim is have is forced to drive because Jay is obviously in his like more of that like I think I don't think it was an airstream, but it was more of a like a driving and with the it was more of a camper, I guess. Sorry, people, don't get me for the not knowing my my RVs, but it was more like the camper style. So it was you know the the vehicle and the camper included um and you know tim obviously you know is now gonna have to drive because bev uh, john's uh, jay's wife sorry <laughs> getting tim here uh jay's wife is obviously going to want to be able to access that so he can't leave that you know um he has to leave that behind because probably tim would have him driving <laughs> he had timmy driving what's he doing shooting Poor Timmy. What are you doing out here? Poor Timmy. You gotta get out of the city limits, and that's anything goes out there is what the guy the moment. Yep. Took out that man's back. So I know what he was doing. Oh yeah, it's a rough road here. I think just, you can see. Look, they got buckets and stuff right there. Shoot, there's some, there's some targets. Yeah. You're gonna shoot right but, there. But that's but that's not it. it. We're still in the city limits. It's not yeah, it. we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out till we see the sign. Yes, yeah, so that was a that's an illegal shoot right there. Somebody's been blasting. I'm glad that Jay is leading Tim in the right way because Tim would just be like, yeah, let's go there. And Jay's like, no, that's illegal. Thank goodness for Jay. Jay is going to stop. Well, he doesn't totally stop you from getting into trouble. <laughs> but at least Jay has his head on the right, you know, screwed on right. <laughs> so I'm just always shocked that these very, you know, very reasonable seeming individuals are so enamored with Tim, but I think it's because he's he's very you know that personality that comes out. But he's been very toxic with it lately. In there, yeah. I didn't want to go up further. We're law and order every time. Absolutely. There we go. What's this say? For sale. <laughs> 150 acres. Surprise! Not shot up. Mm. All right, we'll get out there. We'll give you a real a quick it's clip of it's where we're going to be. Well, we haven't been here five minutes. We've been shooting already, and uh, one got away from me. And, uh, what is one got away from you? Jay is just like scratching his head as to what the madness is happening with you. You better get that into some soap and water and get that cleaned up. Make sure there's no debris in there. Mm -mm -mm. This is. <sighs> I'm sorry. I should not. I think I'll be right I'm so sorry because it's bloodied. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I I I apologize for those of you who do not like this. I was uh, using a stapler. Okay.
I'm sorry for those who did not like the sign of blood. I apologize. I sometimes forget of those things and I do apologize just because I've obviously worked with so much of it in my field. <laughs> As a registered nurse, especially, I have had to work with a great deal of it when I did cardiovascular stuff. Believe it or not, holding holding after femoral lines, they don't have to do that anymore so much. But back in the day, most of the cardiac catheterizations used to go through the femoral artery and you would have to hold that thing for a long time. And if it got slipped or moved, you better hope you had goggles on. Let's just put it that way. But Tim, you just got here. How are you ruining the day already? That's your shooting hand, I'm guessing. Mm. You got band-aids and all that crud in the car? No wonder barium exposure was laughing a little bit. Or He was actually very upset. He wasn't laughing, I should say. He was actually kind of angry because you're not being a responsible gun. And I'm sure Jay is just like, what is going on? Jay is going to be nice about it because he seems like a really nice guy. And I'm just hammering into the thing and I don't know, I got something here by taking so many Advil. I'm uh, bleeding profusely. Nothing happened. Oh, everybody, sorry about the wind. We're not going to show you shooting, but we're getting ready to leave. We want to show you our... Um, is Advil a non-steroid -ster anti-inflammatory? Like aspirin? <laughs> aspirin would make you bleed because it's got like a, a an anti-platelet action to it. It's part of an anti-platelet therapy along with Plavix. But I don't know about the others like that. Bleeding increase. I've never heard that with Advil, but I could be wrong. Our targets. Uh, this is what we did. Here's some good shots. It's, uh, you know, some scattered ones in here. And then over here, we blasted this one pretty good. All these in here. Not very many bullseyes. Uh couple here, one there, one here. This area here got tore up pretty good. We were shooting from two, two areas. Oh, one right here, probably about 20 feet. And the other one's on the other side of this ridge here. And we couldn't hit anything from here. We couldn't hit the side of a barn door. It wasn't until we moved up to this flat rock right there. And we were standing at this line. Here, stand there and see if I can hit you. <laughs> we're dying of thirst. We're out of here. We are dying of thirst. Clean that wound. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Is she is he gonna clean that wound? <laughs> I have no idea. Ugh. I know no other videos came out after that. I mean, didn't need stitches. Uh, I wonder if he has a first aid kit and all of that stuff. He needed some water, at least clean out that wound. Oh my goodness. I don't know what we're going to get tomorrow, guys. I'm glad this is probably the last for tonight. <laughs> I was losing my train of thought because I'm getting later in the day and tired. I don't even think I put out my fair use. There's my fair use statement just to make sure that I don't get in trouble with Tim because I don't think I brought it out starting out. And there's my disclaimers. <laughs> Because I don't think I brought it out. I think I just jumped into the video because I'm I'm getting that tired now. But anyway, if you did like this type of content, make sure to subscribe. And as always, I want to thank all of my channel supporters for all their wonderful support of this channel, even when it's late at night and I'm not keeping my thoughts together any further. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.